Hello, my name is Stephanie Pearson, and I'd like to thank you for accepting my invitation to my presentation. My objective today is to inform you of one of the most known civil rights organizations within our nation. First, I'd like to ask you a question. What is one of the oldest known organizations, civil rights organizations within our nation? NAACP. NAACP is one of them. However, are you aware of the one for Hispanics, which is the League of United Latin American Citizens, better known as LULAC? LULAC has fought hard to fight for discrimination within our Hispanic community. Based on race, ethnicity, or national origin, they strive to assist Hispanics within their difficult challenges that they face. LULAC was founded in 1929 by a merger of three organizations, Knights of America, Sons of America, and the League of Latin American Citizens. One of the mottos that's cited on their organizational website is, all for one and one for all, which was considered to be one of their mottos regarding their trials of unification. The official rights was the American flag, the song, America the Beautiful, and the prayer that they go by is the George Washington prayer. Not many people are aware of the Hispanic fallbacks, which some of them, as you can see, we serve whites only, no Spanish or Mexicans. We were unable to vote, we were denied jobs, we were in segregated schools, and we had lack of teacher support. LULAC is sponsored by two famous people, which is the elect president, Barack Obama, and Senator McCain. Three points I will go over is the economic empowerment, educational attainment, and our civil rights. We begin with the economic empowerment. LULAC has helped the development of programs to address the needs of our Hispanic communities. Three of the projects that I was able to research is the Corporate Alliance Project, Media Project, and the Friendship Award Scala. Corporate Alliance, with more than 30 leading companies to assist in helping support our Hispanic communities. Some of them are AT&T, Sears and Roebuck, Coca-Cola, and General Motors. Next, we're going to go to educational attainment. LULAC has committed their service to sponsor English language classes along with citizenship classes, as well as sponsoring scholarships. Two main statistics that I wanted to address that I found very interesting was that with through the National Assessment of Educational Progress, as you can see here, 86% of Hispanic 8th graders are below reading level compared to the 63% white 8th graders. We also have 71% of the 8th graders who are below in their reading, and this is the Eng English language learners compared to the 25% of the non-English language learners. In 1930-1940, LULAC challenged schools of segregation of the Southwestern School Districts within several landmark lawsuits. 1950, Texas LULAC Councils established the La Escuelita de los Cuatro Centros, which is the Little School of 400. This basic program was the preschool language program to help the Hispanics, which is also the inspiration for our nation's Head Start program. They also provide educational programming, leadership training, and scholarships, which is the Upward Bound and Gear Up and the Young Readers program. To address our civil rights, which is education, employment, law enforcement, housing, and affirmative action. These are the main action suits that LULAC has fought for our community. 
In regards to the mission of LULAC, the mission of the League of United Latin American Citizens is to advance the economic condition, educational attainment, political influence, housing, health, civil rights of the Hispanic community. LULAC has contributed many empowering programs to allow the Hispanic community to overcome adversities through the economic empowerment, educational attainment, and our civil rights. LULAC is one of the most known civil rights organizations within our Hispanic community in our nation. Thank you, and I hope you were able to learn and were more informed of LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens.